It's been a while, yeah. Summer was hot and now the temperature has gone down and it feels better outside. And I've been thinking about things I wanna talk about. And today I wanna to talk about something from about three years ago. And it was a video Peter McKinnon did. He had this product guide list he went over and the number one on the list. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. One of the coolest things I have received all year. I can see it, I can see it through the screen. You're like, oh, what is that? Look at that. Company called Home and Hadfield. This is like a watch box organizer, everyday carry drawer, desk caddy, tray, valet, all of those things. And it is sick. I went through and did a pre-order for this product because I thought it'd be pretty interesting. All the products you talked about, the only one I picked was this watch box. And it just, it piqued my interest. I only had one watch, which was the Apple watch, which I eventually sold. But then I ended up getting another watch, a regular watch. Um, I have other watches that were in storage, but so much stuff happened after I did the pre-order that I totally forgot I had had this watch box on pre-order and I'm supposed to be waiting for it in the mail. Luckily, um, they emailed me to let me know it was on its way like a few days before before the end of February, beginning of March. And I was like, what, what is this? And sure enough, it showed up. And then. Zanny boss, what's our door, brand new bag. College girls, give a nigga head in my raps. Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh, hey. The bitch they hate, and you can't miss what you never had. So after unboxing the product, I took photos with some Theory 11 deck of cards, all types of photos of it and with it, cameras around it. I was trying to practice my product photography side of things and I was trying to use this as a way to do it. I sent Home and Hadfield some of the photos for them to share on their social media. But sitting back there on the shelf, I actually have four watches in it right now. All right. So here are my watches. Let's turn it like this. So they would stay front facing, you would be able to see them. I got them on there. This is my um, Black Panther Wakanda Forever watch. I know the names of these other ones, but I can't remember at the moment. This one is a JCS leather one. Um, I was doing some photos of this one for the guy, um, and I got a pack of matches here, which we'll talk about in another video. A little tiny Canon camera, a little camera pendant. I got from Peter McKinnon's store. And then of course the Theory 11 deck of cards that's still in here that I never took out. I kinda, you know what, I'm gonna change these out. Let's... <sighs> actually have a few decks from Theory 11. I could have swore I had more than five, but who knows. This one I never opened because I originally planned to get the actual drink, Jack Sellers, and I never did get it. And then I never ended up opening it. This one's the Mandalorian deck. Stick that right there. And this is the um, the product red one. It's got a little stuff there. They always make a product red for uh, AIDS awareness. So that's that one. And, you know, I have about uh, quite a few of these, so I'm gonna stick one in here. So I'll have that. Got my black matches. Um, if anybody can guess what those black matches are too, um, put it in the comments. 
Uh, you're not going to win an award, just, you know, you feel like guessing. So. Well, that's it for today. Um, hit like at the end of the video if, if you liked this small talk. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. I was 15, I said codeine with my dog, eh. Did it break us, it put me in the zine, I feel nauseate. Put the bus stick and I hop on a plane, still in my wall, wait. Shit is so risky, I gotta be gifted, he best me with fortune and fame. I remember for 50, I couldn't go back empty, I knew I was stuck to the game. Uh -huh.